What is going on y'all? Travis here, back with another Supernatural episode. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 8. Let's go. Uh, a special presentation. Shut up. Merry Christmas, Grandpa! Oh, Merry Christmas to you, Stevie. A Christmas episode? Is this a Supernatural oh, Christmas episode? Presents at Christmas. You have been a good boy this year, haven't you? I have, I swear. Well, uh, who knows? Maybe he'll come. Shut up. <laughs> Santa. Oh my god, it's about to be the real Santa. Is that gonna be the real Santa? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, hey, hey, Michigan, hey, Ypsilanti, Ypsilanti. It's not Ypsilanti, it's Ypsilanti. But they're real close to me for Christmas. And then I, I heard Mike scream. And you didn't see any of it? No. The doors were locked, there was no forced entry? That's right. Does anybody else have a key? My parents. Where do they live? Florida. We're all set. We'll be in touch. The, the police said my husband might have been kidnapped. Could be. It's three days till Christmas. What am I supposed to tell oh, my daughter? Oh, she We're very sorry. Find anything? <sighs> this, the tooth, and the chimney. Chimney, no way a man fits up the chimney, it's too narrow. No way he fits up in one piece. So if dad went up the chimney, we need to find out what dragged him up there. Lord. Ah. So, is that right? Uh, the crap. Is it the serial killing chimney sweep? Yep, it's actually Dick Van Dyke. Who? <laughs> Mary Poppins. Who's that? Never mind. <laughs> well, it turns out that Walsh is the second guy in town grabbed out of his house this month. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, what the hell do you think we're dealing with? Actually, I have an idea. Yeah. This it's, uh, motel. Sound crazy. I could uh, say that sounds crazy to me. Evil Santa. Krampus. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. There's some version of the anti clause in every culture. There's all sorts of lore saying back in the day Santa's brother went rogue and now he shows up around Christmas time, but instead of bringing presents, he punishes the wicked. So this is your theory, huh? Santa's shady brother? Well, I, <laughs> just saying, that's what the lore says. There is no Santa. Yeah, I know. You're the one who told me that in the first place, remember? Rude. What a jerk. Yeah, you know what? I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe not. Turns out both victims visited the same place before they got snatched. Where? Hey. It does kind of lend credence to the theory, don't it? Hey. Yeah, but so. Couldn't be. Hey, speaking of, we should have one this year. No, we'll get a tree, a little Boston market, just like when we were little. Whose childhood are you talking about? Oh, come on, Sam. Now. Just now. Uh. Uh. No. Wrench. Look now, it there's way more snow on the ground today. And it's before Christmas. What is that? Present for Dad. Where'd you get the money? Steal it? No. Uncle Bobby gave it to me to give to him. What is it? A pony. Those are the same kids that played them <sighs> earlier. Or no. Different. Dad's gonna be here, right? He'll be here. They look the same. He'll be kinda. Here. Promise. Where is he anyway? Dean does. On business. Is Dad a spy? Mm-hmm. He's James Bond. I'm old enough, Dean. You can tell me the truth. You don't want to know the truth. Is that why we never talk about Mom? Shut up! Wait, where are you going? Out! Jeez. What are we looking for again? Uh, lore says that the anti claws will walk with a lamp and smell like sweets. Great, so we're looking for a pimp Santa. Why the sweets? If you smell like candy, the kids will come closer, you know? That's creepy. How does the thing know who's been naughty and who's been nice? I don't know. So, Ronnie, come sit on Santa's knee. You've been a good boy this year. Yeah. What a creeper. Good. Santa's got a special gift for you. <laughs> Maybe we do. Welcome to Santa's court. Can I escort your child to Santa? No, uh, but actually, my brother here, it's been a lifelong dream of his. No kids over 12? No, he's just kidding. We only came here to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh, I didn't mean that we came here to. 
Oh my god. Check it out. Are you seeing this? I'm, a lot of people walk with lamps, right? Tell me you didn't smell it. That was candy man. That was a ripple. I think. Had to be. Who time is it? Here. <clears throat> Cabinet. Oh. Just kidding. Hey Sam. Why are you the boy that hates Christmas? Look, Dean, if you wanna have Christmas, knock yourself out. Just don't involve me. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Me and myself making cranberry molds. <laughs> what the fuck is a cranberry mold? Never heard of that in my life. <laughs> cranberry mold. What's up with saying nicotine? <laughs> He's probably watching a movie. Huh. What? Uh, well, you know, Mr. Gung Ho Christmas might have to blow away Santa. He's gonna make you do it. How are you doing here? This is my toe. Roast my chestnut. I know. What's the Silent night. Holy <laughs> night. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know the words. Oh my god. That's funny. Ooh, pretty tree. Santa, you're early. He's like, the fuck? That don't look like no Santa I've ever seen it before. The hell? Okay, well that's terrifying. So that's how your son described the attack? Santa took daddy up the chimney? Where were you? I was asleep. All of a sudden, Al was being dragged out of bed, screaming. Did you see the attacker? Who punched you in the face? It was dark. He knocked me out. Mrs. Caldwell, where, where did you get that wreath above the fireplace? Excuse me? Just curious, you know. Wreaths, huh? Sure didn't want to ask her better shoes. We've seen that wreath before, Dean. Where? The Walsh's. Yesterday. I know. I was just testing you. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, Thanks, Bobby. We're not dealing with the anti claws. What did Bobby say? Uh, that we're morons. <laughs> he also said that it was probably meadow sweet in those wreaths. The hell is meadow sweet? It's pretty <laughs> rare and it's probably the most powerful plant in pagan lore. See, they'd use meadow sweet for human sacrifices. Gods were drawn to it and they'd stop by and snack on whatever was the nearest human. Why would somebody be using that for Christmas wreaths? But I mean, the Yule log, the tree, even Santa's red suit, that's all remnants of pagan worship. How do you know that? Are you <laughs> tell me next. Easter Bunny's Jewish? So you think we're dealing with a pagan god? Yeah. Probably holding a car, god of the winter solstice. And all these Martha Stewart wannabes buying these fancy reeds. Yeah, it's pretty much like putting a neon sign on your front door saying, come kill us. When you sacrifice to hold in the car, guess what he gives you in return? Lap dances, hopefully. Mild weather. Oh. Uh, no snow in the middle of December in Michigan, uh, for instance. <sighs> Do we know how to kill it yet? No, Bobby's working on that right now. Uh, we gotta figure out what the song was. Reads. I was wondering. I you was wondering. The purpose? Feeding the victims to this thing? Let's find out. Help you, boys? Uh, I hope so. We were playing Django over at the Walsh's the other night. Well, he hasn't shut up since about this Christmas wreath. Is, I don't know, you tell him. It was yummy. I sell a lot of wreaths, guys. You see, this one would have been uh, really special. It might have been made of uh, meadow sweet. Aren't you a fussy one? He is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know the one you're talking about. I'm all that. <laughs> Seems like this meadow sweet stuff's pretty rare and expensive. Why make wreaths out of it? Beats me. I didn't make them. Who did? Madge Carrigan, a local lady, said the wreaths were so special, she gave them to me for free. Did you sell them for free? Hell no, it's Christmas. People pay a buttload for this crap. That's the spirit. Ugh. So how much do you think a metal sweet wreath would cost? A couple hundred dollars at least. This lady's giving them away for free? That's pretty suspicious. Sus. Remember that wreath Dad brought home that one year? Give me the one he stole from like a liquor store? Yeah, it was a bunch of empty beer cans. That thing was great. <laughs> yeah, I bet if I looked around hard enough, I could probably find one just like it. Dude, what's going on with you? What? I mean, since when are you Bing Crosby all of a sudden? Why do you want to do Christmas so bad? 
Why are you so against it? Because it's probably going to be his last that one. Traumatic? No, that has nothing to do with it. I don't get it. I, you haven't talked about Christmas in years. Well, yeah. This is my last year. I know. That's why I can't. What do you mean? I mean, I can't just sit around drinking eggnog, pretending everything's okay. When I know next Christmas you'll be dead. I just can't. I can't when you guys get emotional. Thought you went out. Yeah, to get your dinner. Don't forget your vegetables. I know why you keep a gun under your pillow. No, you don't. Stay out of my stuff. And I know why we lay salt on everywhere we go. No, you don't. Shut up. Where'd you get that? That's Dad's. He's gonna kick your ass for reading that. Our monster's real. What? You're crazy. Tell me. I swear, if you ever tell Dad I told you any of this, I will end you. Oh. Promise. We have the coolest dad in the world. He's a superhero. He is? Yeah. Monsters are real. Dad fights him. He's fighting him right now. But Dad said the monsters under my bed weren't real. It's because he'd already checked under there. Almost everything's real. Santa real? No. Jeez. If monsters are real. If they could get us, they could get me. Dad's not going to let them get you. But what if they get him? They aren't going to get Dad. Dad's like the best. I read in Dad's book that they got Mom. If they got Mom, they can get Dad. And if they get Dad, they can get us. They The writing, this is actually pretty... He's okay, Dad's fine. We're talks fine. just like Sam does. Like the phrasing of his uh, words. You okay? Like adult Sam. Yeah. And Dad's going to be here for Christmas. Just like he always is. It'll all be better when you wake up. You'll see. Promise. That's sad. This is where Mrs. Reith lives, huh? Why can't you just feel the evil pagan vibe? Uh. Yes. Please tell me you're the magic arrogant who makes the meadow sweet reeds. Why, yes, I am. Ha. Well, we were just admiring your reeds in Mr. Siler's place the other day. Isn't that meadow sweet just the finest smelling thing you ever smelled? Mm. It is. It sure is. <laughs> All your reeds had sold out before we got the chance to buy one. Oh, fudge! You wouldn't happen to have another one that we could <laughs> buy from you, would you? Those were the only ones I had for this season. Oh. Tell me something. Why did you decide to make them out of meadow sweet? Why, the smell, of course. What's going on, honey? Well, you're just some nice boys asking about my wreaths, dear. Oh, the wreaths are fine. Care for some peanut brittle? We're okay. Y'all are acting weird. I knew it. Something was way off with those two. Where'd yeah. Kerrigan's lived in Seattle last year where two abductions took place right around Christmas. All that Christmas crap in their house, it wasn't Bows of Holly, it was Vervain and Mint. So what, Ozzy and Harry are keeping a pagan god hidden underneath their plastic-covered couch? So what about Bobby? He's sure Evergreen Steaks will kill this thing, right? Yeah, you sure? See, plastic. I like a lot of their decorations, though. Holy shit. That gingerbread house was huge. Hey, Dave. They're housing creeper claws? Y'all are housing creeper claws? That's weird. Oh. Or is it the guy? What the fuck? What is that? Oh. Ew. He's gonna move and he's gonna scream. He's not dead yet. Maybe he is. Sam! Oh. Gosh, I wish you boys hadn't come down here. Shit. Jesus. She is strong? You okay? Yeah, I think so. So I guess we're dealing with Mr. and Mrs. God. Nice to know. Oh, and here we thought you two lazy bones were going to sleep straight through all the fun stuff. <laughs> no, nah, we're partiers. Isn't he a kick in the pants, honey? Your hunters is what you are. Yeah, and you're pagan gods. So why don't we just call it even and go our separate ways? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you went <laughs> well, I don't think so. Then, huh? Oh, now, don't get all wet. Why, well, we used to take over a hundred tributes a year. Now, what do we take? Two? Three? 
Hardy boys here make five. <laughs> now, that's not so bad, is it? I guess you guys are the Cunninghams. You, mister, better show us a little respect. Or what? You'll eat us? Not so fast. <laughs> There's uh, rituals to be followed first. Oh, we're just sticklers for ritual. And you know what kicks off the whole shebang? Meadowsweet. You're Ooh. all out of reeds. I guess we'll just have to cancel the, the sacrifice, huh? Oh, don't be such a gloomy Gus. Don't they just look <sighs> darling? Good enough to eat. All righty, Rue. All righty, Rue. Sammy? No. Sammy? No! No! no. no. Leave him alone, son of a bitch! Back in the day, we were worshipped by millions. Times have changed. <laughs> Tell me about it. All of a sudden, our, our altars are being burned down, and we're being hunted down like common monsters. We kept a low profile. We got jobs, a, a mortgage. We, we assimilated. Yeah, we assimilated. We're just like everybody else. You're not blending in as smooth as you think, lady. Ugh! Bitch! Somebody owes a nickel to the swear jar. <laughs> Do you know what I say when I feel like swearing? Fudge. I'll try and remember that. You boys have no what are you idea doing how big you are. There was a time when kids came from miles around just to be sitting where you are. No, you fudge and touch me again, I'll fudge and kill you. Very good. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh we have got a winner! Ah! You ripped out his fingernail. Oh! What else, dear? Fingernail, blood, <laughs> sweet Peter on a popsicle stick. <laughs> I forgot the tooth. <laughs> oh dear. Merry Christmas, Sam. Mm. Open wide and say ah. <laughs> so are you gonna get that? You should get that. Come on. Merry Christmas. Oh. I told you I smelled fruitcake. You should Oh, have. bite your tongue. It's my pleasure. Merry Christmas. And to you too, dear. Hey, are we still on for a bridge tomorrow? With bells on. Yes. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I hope they got out. Uh, rude. Yeah, where were we? Yes. <laughs> Damn. Fuck your Christmas tree. <laughs> Y'all are about to get shanked by your Christmas tree. <laughs> you little thing. I love that tree. Shit. Bye bye. Sucks to suck. Y'all suck. Bye bye. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sam, wake up. Dad was here. Look what he brought. Dad was here? Yeah. Look at this. We made a killing. Why did he try to wake me up? Dean did it, didn't he? tried you like a thousand times. Did I tell you he would give us Christmas or what? Go on, dive in. What is it? Sapphire Barbie. Dad probably thinks you're a girl. Shut up. <laughs> Open that one. Dad never showed, did he? Yeah, he did, I swear. Dean, where'd you get all this stuff? Nice house at the block. I swear, I didn't know there were chick presents. <laughs> I'm sure Dad would have been here if he could. Here, take this. No, no, it's for Dad. Dad lied to me. I want you to have it. You sure? I'm sure. <sighs> Thank you, Sam. I, I love it. Is that the necklace that he always wears? I hey, can't. You get the beer? It's all this. <sighs> I think it is. <laughs> it's, it's Christmas. Oh, man. <sighs> what made you change your mind? Here, um. Let me know if I need some more kick. Oh, no, we're good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Well, uh, have a seat. Let's do Christmas stuff or whatever. All right, first things first. Merry Christmas, eh? Where'd you get these? Someplace special. Gas mart down the street. <laughs> Open them up. Great minds think alike, Dean. Really? There you go. 
Skin man. Oh and God. shaving cream. You like? Yeah. Does he even grow facial hair? Look at this. Fuel for me and fuel for my baby. These are awesome. Thanks. Good. Merry Christmas, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Here, Merry Christmas. Eggnog. I've never. What's it taste like? Hey, Dean. Kind of stresses me out. Do you feel like watching the game? Absolutely. All right. A merry I can't deal with it. And it's snowing. I can't. Why? Why are they so freaking adorably awesome? I have said it since the beginning, since I first started watching this show. Like, their chemistry, their their vibe. You could tell that those two, like, actually love each other and, and grow to love each other more and more as much as this show goes on. Like, I don't know. It's just, there's not another pair. There's not another set of brothers that, uh, that I've ever watched in a TV show. And I'm only on season three where you, like, feel that, you know? And like the character Sam like just adores Dean so much and just wants like his love and his approval. And then Dean felt the same way about their dad and all that. It's just like, damn, this show. I love it. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. It's happening. It'll be posted on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to those out there that are watching it uh, on that day and even after. Um, much love to you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.